Hi guys and welcome to Tail Talk. Today I'm bringing you Thursday's video from the car. Ooh. Uh, the car is not an exciting place. I thought with this topic of video that it would be weird to sit down with lights and like a setup and be like, Hi, it's Tail Talk! Because it's weird. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Mother's Day and what Mother's Day means to me in a sense of the word. I don't know if this will be a happy video, I, I wouldn't really bet on it. So if you're not really into that, that's okay if you click away, I totally get it, it's okay. If you want to hear my opinion, stay tuned. I'm sure it'll get really deep and really sad and I'm gonna try my best not to cry because fuck. I don't know if this is a let's talk about because it's not really like the pros and cons of the subject, it's just kind of like, for me, Mother's Day sucks. Mother's Day every year is a constant reminder of something I don't have. I shouldn't say what I don't have because I did or I do, I don't really know how to put it. Basically, my mum died when I was eight from leukemia, which is like a form of cancer. I don't know, every year, it used to be kind of like a way to celebrate her, but as I got older, it just became more sad. And now it's like a constant reminder of like how I don't have uh, like a, a mom in my life, like a mother figure in my life. Like, don't get me wrong, I have like my friends' moms and like uh, that I'm like really close to, and I, I do look at them that way, but it's not the same. It feels like I'm sponging off my friends, like, like oh, she doesn't have a mom, let's throw her one. Like, it's not really the same as having your own. I don't know, I always, like, I have two people, two, like, women figures in my life that I do value and I do, like, give them gifts on Mother's Day, even though they're not my mom. It's more like just, like, a thanks for putting up with me gift. Um, <laughs> I'm not the person that handles death well. I, like, I don't cry. I, I, I just kind of become, like, really numb and I just like step back inside myself and then but just pretend everything's okay I'm I'm definitely one of those people that tries to be the rock for everyone else and ignore my own feelings like when my mom died I I didn't cry at the funeral I didn't cry pretty sure I was I was eight so it's very like it's not the best memory I'm pretty sure I cried when I first found out but I think that's the only time I ever cried until about like three years later I remember I had like a real a real solid breakdown it was like three years worth of crying caught up to me but yeah I've always been the person to be the rock and to be like like it's okay don't worry about it like it's not a big deal like I'm fine ignore my feelings it's okay and like as long as you're happy I'm happy and I live my life that way with most things. Like, as long as everyone around me is happy, I'm fine. Which is a good and a bad thing, I can assume. Sorry if I'm not looking straight at you. It literally feels like you're sitting on the other side watching this, and I'm, like, having a conversation, and I'm literally talking about my feelings, and I just can't, like... It's weird. But yeah, I remember growing up with Mother's Day, and Mother's Day being, like... I remember at school, we would do these things, uh, like... Like a lucky dip, but not. Like, every student would bring in something that's worth, like, ten dollars, and then we would all get a number, and then you take your, your present, and you'd, like, give that to your mom. And, like, I remember everyone used to get one, and I'd get one, and I'd be like, well, what do I do with this? Because I didn't really develop those, like, other motherly figures in my life until I was, like, a teenager. I always felt like I didn't belong, like, in high school or primary school, there was a lot of things that contributed to that, but there was definitely the mother factor of missing. I would watch kids get picked up from school with their mom. The mom would be like, get in, I've missed you, how was your day? And I would get on the bus and <laughs> go home to an empty house because my dad was at work. It takes a toll on you, like, as a child, for sure. Like, I, I felt very, very lonely as a kid. And I sometimes, like, struggle with that. Like, I sometimes struggle with being, like, with the idea of being lonely. I'm slowly, <laughs> surely getting over that and understanding that, like, um, being, like, being alone is different than being lonely. Like, some people can be lonely but still be surrounded by people. And, but you can be alone and not be lonely. And I'm, like, getting on the train with that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what the point of this video is. I think it was just to kind of, like, get my feelings across. <laughs> It just, it really sucks not being able to celebrate it. Like, the only time it really bothers me is around holidays. Mainly Christmas and, like, Mother's Day. It doesn't seem like Mother's Day is such a big deal, but, like, when you don't have a mum, like, now, like, being an adult and, like, not being around, like, the Mother's Day things, like, I mean, I see it at shops and stuff, but it's not, it's not as intense as it was as a kid, for sure. Because, you know, when you grow up, you need your parents. Like, it's just more of a reminder now that it's like like another day it's not like a, you don't get to celebrate like everyone else does and like I remember 
as a kid, we would celebrate it. Like, we'd go buy her roses and or, like, any some kind of flower and then put them, and then put them, like, uh, where she was cremated. She was cremated in the ocean, so we, like, go to that particular spot and, like, throw roses. But, like, it's not the same. It's not even close. I really don't like talking about my mum. Like, when... Oh, God. I can feel it coming. <sighs> don't do it, Taylor. Don't do it. I really don't like talking about my mum because it makes me do this. And, um, fuck. Stop, Taylor. Don't do it. I really don't like talking about my mum because it makes me upset. And I don't... I'm definitely one of those people that tries their best to never be upset in front of others because it's like... To me, it's, it used to be, like, weakness, but now it's, like, I don't know. I think probably it's still the same thing. I don't know what I'm saying. But, yeah, I don't really like talking about it because, to me, it's, like, I can't, I can't, <laughs> I no longer have, like, an option of finding happy ways to remember my mum. Like, it always has to be something sad, like buying flowers or visiting where, like, she was cremated. Oh, my God, stop Taylor. <laughs> It's never, like, a happy time anymore. Like, people get to go and celebrate Mother's Day. I get to go, like, mourn Mother's Day. And it really fucking sucks. Like, I get to... Like, people get to go to lunch. People get to, like, go to the movies, like, go shopping. I don't know, just whatever it takes to, like, spend time with that person. And I get to do nothing. Except for... Except the fact that I don't... Like, she's not there. And... That is really, really rough. Most years, it really doesn't bother me. Most years, I'm pretty good. But for some reason, this year, it's really hit me. And I've been down, like, this whole week. And I've been, like, really anxious over, like, a lot of different things. But I feel like the base of it is because Mother's Day is coming. And, I mean, I've planned it, so I'm, like, distracted for most of the day. Because I find that if I'm distracted, like, with these little things, like, Mother's Day and stuff, I'm Okay. I just need to, like, get through the day, and then once the day's over, it's fine. But it just sucks, man. Because I was only eight when she died. Like, there's so many... Like, I wouldn't even have a clue to what to buy her if she was here now. Like, I'm sure, like, if she was here and, like, I had years to, like, learn what she liked and stuff, like, I would be able to do that. But I, I wouldn't be able to do that now. If someone was like, if you could, what would you buy her? I'm like, I honestly don't know. I have keepsakes of my mum. But it's still hard because, like, when you're eight, like, how much, how well do you know your parents? Like, how attached can you really be to your parents at eight? The keepsakes I do have, I have a lipstick, which is so me. <laughs> it was her, like, favorite lipstick. Can't work out for the life of me what brand it is. It's in, like, a gold tube. And it's, like, a, like a real fancy-looking lipstick. Like, it looks like a high-end lipstick. And it smells disgusting now because it's, like, fucking, how old am I? 22. It's, like... It's like 14 years old so like I don't wear it it just sits in like the back of my collection as like a reminder and I also have like a sample of like red door she used to it smells so much like my mom um I'm pretty sure it was her favorite but it's like the real old classic bottle and like it, it's probably off too but like when I'm desperate I like spray it and I was like hmm and like I don't have my mom was sick for like two years before she died so I was six when she started getting sick so how like the, the happy memories I have with her I've, there's only a handful because it was like two years of hospitals and like all that stuff I'll I'll tell you the full story in a, a video one day it's just really hard to talk about but I've I've definitely thought about doing a video on all of it because my dad got sick at the same time as well and I was kind of like shipped from home to home. It was just a really rough time. I'll talk about it in a video one day. If that's something you guys want to see. Or hear about, I guess. Not really see. It's not like a story. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to give my input on Mother's Day. And how it's not the best day for everyone. But the days keep rolling. That was so horribly put. Fuck it out, Taylor. I appreciate you if you watched this whole entire video. If you didn't, it's okay. I picked up the mail before I sat down for this video and I got my price line vouchers so I'm gonna go do that and like you know drown my sorrows in retail shopping thank you so much for watching uh, if you made it through this I promise there'll be happy videos starting again next week and if you didn't miss my group collab that was freaking hilarious so you just go back to Tuesday and watch that
Until next time, I'll talk to you later.